staying in Washington, where a younger generation of leaders is set to step into the spotlight on Capitol Hill. House Democrats officially elected New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries to be the House Minority Leader in the new Congress. He will be the first black lawmaker to lead a congressional caucus. During a news conference yesterday, Jeffries discussed working for the people. As we work to advance the ball for everyday Americans and get stuff done. Because that's what Democrats do. That's our story. That's our legacy. That's our values. That's our commitment as we move forward. For more on this, let's bring in NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Nobles. So, Ryan, good morning. Talk to us here about the decision to elect Jeffries to Democratic House leader, replacing Nancy Pelosi. And also, what can we expect from him as the party looks into the future? Well, first off, Lindsay, as you point out, it was certainly historic. The fact that this will be the first time uh, that an African-American is a leader of any political party in Congress is very significant. But it's also significant because of the generational change that it represents. The new leadership in, in the Democratic caucus is 30 years younger than the people that they will replace. Uh, and so that just shows you the direction of the Democratic Party as they attempt to evolve. But Akeem Jeffries specifically as a figure will be very interesting because he is someone that has clashed with the House, uh, my um, current House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, soon to be Speaker of the House. But yesterday he said that he's willing to work with Republicans up to a point. Take a listen. We look forward to finding opportunities to partner with the other side of the aisle and work with them whenever possible. But we will also push back against extremism whenever necessary. We're going to fight hard each and every day. We have this honor to serve in Congress to deliver. So the tone that Jeffries is striking there is important because if Democrats want to get anything accomplished, they're going to need Republican support. Republicans, of course, will be in the majority, but the margins will be so slim but Jeffries is making it clear he's only going to be willing to work with Republicans uh, if they can find common ground on issues that they both care about. And they are willing to be that roadblock to what they describe as extremism. And that's basically alluding to former President Trump and the influence that he has on the Republican Party in the House. Lindsay. Well, and Ryan, right now we're looking at a group of people. Um, and so in recent years, we've seen ambitious younger Democrats looking to climb the leadership ladder. But they've had nowhere to go. And now we're seeing sort of a changing of the guard. So who are these other new leaders of the Democratic Congressional Caucus? Yeah. So Catherine Clark is uh, going to be the Democratic whip. She's in her 50s. She's from Massachusetts. She represents a more progressive wing of the party. She's someone that has steadily moved up the ranks, is very close with the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and is expected to be a force uh, in the Democratic Party. And then Pete Aguilar, who's in his early 40s from California, he's going to be the Democratic caucus chair. Uh, he is uh, obviously Hispanic. Uh, this represents the first time in, uh, in forever that you've had no white men as leaders of the Democratic Party, which the Democrats believe is important because it reflects the United States as well. And, you know, beyond those three leaders at the top of the chain, there are also very young and very popular uh, Democratic leaders uh, in uh, the House of Representatives that are going to have a lot of influence. Don't forget the name Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is, of course, uh, a very prominent leader of the progressive wing of the party, and also uh, young leaders like Cori Bush and others. So uh, this Democratic Party is going to have a lot of voices that have not necessarily all the same exact viewpoint as to how they should govern. So it's going to be a big job for Hakeem Jeffries to keep all of those in line. And of course, that was Nancy Pelosi's expertise. All right, Ryan, thanks so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.